This little piggy went to anatomy prac. This little piggy went to microbiology lab. This little piggy went to clinical tutorials. This little piggy went to study group. And this little piggy cried hee 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 as he abducted and flexed his little head all the way home. What? It's never too early to start preparing for medical school, is it? <coughs> Today, we're talking all things pinky. And by that, I mean your pinky toe. Have you ever stopped and wondered what muscles help you bend and wiggle your little toe? Well, today, we'll find out the answers to this rather random question. Welcome to our video tutorial on the functions of the lateral plantar muscles of the foot in 3D. So in today's video tutorial, we're going to be exploring the functions of two small muscles of the foot, and these are the abductor digiti minimi muscle, which is this long superficial muscle seen here along the lateral border of the foot, and the flexor digiti minimi brevis muscle, a smaller, deeper muscle also located along the lateral aspect of the plantar surface of the foot. Now, of course, we cannot learn about the functions of any muscle without first refreshing our memories of its anatomy. So we're going to do just that by beginning first with the abductor digiti minimi muscle. So as you can see on our awesome model here, the abductor digiti minimi is a long, thin muscle located along the lateral border of the plantar aspect of the foot. If you happen to learn your plantar muscles by layers, well, you can make a note that this muscle is found in the first layer of plantar muscles. The abductor digiti minimi muscle has its origin or proximal attachment point at both the medial and lateral processes of the calcaneotuberosity, in addition to a soft tissue structure known as the plantar aponeurosis. From here, its long tapered belly courses distally towards the lateral border of the foot, where this muscle finds its insertion or distal attachment point at the base of the proximal phalanx of the little toe. And you may also see it described as having an additional attachment at the tuberosity located at the base of the fifth metatarsal bone. So let's move a little bit deeper into the plantar muscles now and check out our second muscle of interest, the flexor digiti minimi brevis muscle. Now this muscle is much smaller compared to the abductor digiti minimi and is located in the third layer of plantar muscles of the foot. It has its origin on the medioplantar surface of the base of the fifth metatarsal bone, and it may also have an attachment to another structure known as the long plantar ligament. From its origin, the short muscular belly of the flexor digiti minimi brevis then continues distally to find its insertion also at the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth digit. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.